Hello everybody, so it's Mickey, and yeah, I'm either, what, three or four DPO today? It's Tuesday, October 9th, so yay! <laughs> My ovaries finally kicked into gear because I only had to stim 11 nights, which is completely awesome. That does not include my trigger shot, so I'm so happy. <laughs> so let me just recap on what happened and, you know, what's going on right now. So I went in for my ultrasound last week on Tuesday, and my RE made me a little nervous. He asked me when we BD'd, and he never asked me that question. So I was a little worried that he was trying to get at the fact that he thought he had a suspicion that I might have ovulated on my own before I was ready, but I don't really know. It's just speculation on my part. So yeah, we were told to go ahead and BD Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and that was going to be my fertile window. And, yeah, so we did that. Um, Wednesday, we BD'd, and I started to feel a little bit of soreness in my ovaries, which is what happens usually. No, not Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday is when I actually started to feel the soreness. We BD'd Wednesday. We BD'd Thursday because I started feeling soreness. Friday, we did not BD because my husband had CQ, which is a 24-hour shift in the barracks. And he just couldn't make it home to try to get a quick little session in. But, you know, that's just the way it goes. Hopefully, it won't hurt our chances. So, that night, if you follow me on Facebook, which I'll, uh, I'll link it below. I'll link below my my profile page if you do try to uh, follow me on Facebook please send me a message because I probably will not add you if you don't leave me a message tell me who you are so anyways back to where I was if you follow me on Facebook you already know that on Friday night around 10 30 till about 11 o'clock or till about 1 o'clock I was having severe, severe ovary pain. Like, I mean, it was just soreness and it just hurt. It, it wasn't like pains like off and on. It was just like pain. <laughs> it hurt really bad, especially when I went to go pee. Like when I would pee, I would just feel so much pressure on my ovaries. I swear they were about to explode. So, yeah, as soon as my husband walked in the door, on sun Saturday, when he got off of CQ, he went straight to the bedroom and we BD'd. So, like, I sort of gave him a heads up that I thought I ovulated the night before. So hopefully we, we BD'd in time. Some of the things that we're doing this cycle are, I'm using my Moon Cup UK. If you don't know what that is, it's a menstrual cup that can also be used uh, for TTC. You can actually scroll down through my videos, and I have a product review. It's called Moon Cup UK Product Review. Also, if you're interested in getting those, do your research, <laughs> okay? And one of the places that I looked was, of course, on YouTube. There's a channel called Menstrual Cup Info, and they have all sorts of moon cup, or they have all sorts of uh, menstrual cups. It's called Menstrual Cup Info. So, yeah, if you look through that, yeah, she's got plenty of information on there, including how to put it in and how to take it out. So, yeah, uh, we also I have a wedge pillow. So after we BD, you know, that goes underneath my butt and just lay there for a while. I do realize that it's not a guarantee or whatever, and there's no scientific evidence to prove that that helps you, but, you know, if it makes me feel better about it and feel better about our chances, then I'm going to do it. <laughs> also, as far as supplements or pills goes, I am just taking my prenatals, my allergy medicines, and azo yeast, 
uh, just to prevent any yeast infections. Um, I am not doing baby aspirin this time around just because I completely forgot to buy some more. I only had three pills left. So we'll see if that changes anything. I don't know. I'm also, we didn't, last time we used pre-seed, I was out. So I don't know if you know, but I'm actually a part of the Five Waiting Wombs group. And we do YouTube videos there, and we also do product reviews. Thankfully enough, <laughs> uh, Conceive Plus actually sent us some pre-filled applicators and a tube of Conceive Plus. So how awesome is that, that <laughs> I had that handy when I was out of pre-seed? So I will be doing a product review on that this week. So if you are not following the... Five waiting wombs, and you want to know about Conceive Plus, go subscribe to that channel because um, those ladies are awesome on there, and you know, you'll find out how it worked differently for each one of us. Let's see. What else? Test date. I, I did already get some questions about when am I gonna test? My RE wants me to wait to test till the 23rd. What he does is he starts his two week wait as of today which is uh, 3DPO because on 3DPO I start my um, this stuff um, this is my Prometrium this is actually the generic brand but it's Prometrium or uh, progesterone and they are vaginal suppositories on, which I do two times a day. So I'm doing these, and uh, so two weeks from today, he wants me to test. If I go by the day that I ovulated and I go 14 DPO, 14 DPO is not this Saturday, but next Saturday, the 20th. I have yet to decide what I'm going to do. As of right now, I think I'm going to wait till the 23rd just because I don't want to get my hopes up really, really high or whatever. Still want to stay positive, but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to react if it comes out negative. So as of right now, I've decided to wait until the 23rd, have that as my goal, but if I start having symptoms like I had last cycle with my BAP, then I will test earlier. I will either test, if I'm feeling symptoms by 10 DPO, then I will test then. If I'm feeling symptoms around 14 DPO, I will test then. If I'm not having any symptoms, I will just wait until the 23rd. So that's my plan as of right now. We'll see how, how, how that goes. I'm... I'm nervous, but I'm trying to stay optimistic, and it's just because with my BFP from last cycle, I just sort of felt like I was, just looking back, I felt like I was just waiting for something to go wrong, rather than just enjoying the fact that I was pregnant, I was just waiting for something to go wrong. I don't want to be like that this time around if it does happen, so I actually like looked up if this cycle did work, a uh, fertility friend said I would be due June 29th. And that would mean that I would start my second trimester the week of Christmas. So that's pretty awesome. And that would be like perfect Christmas gift because I would be two weeks or into my second, second trimester and I wouldn't be scared to tell my family. So... That would work out perfectly. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that that will work out for us. So, yeah. All right. That is it for me. And um, thank you all to my new subscribers. I've gotten a crap load of new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them. And, yeah. All right. I will talk to you all next week. <laughs> Bye.